Hey guys, AB here from B&H, and today we're talking tips in Adobe Premiere to help you improve the audio in your edit. So let's get started. Loop a segment on the timeline. I'm sure we've all been here before. You've got a section of your video that you're currently working on, and you wanna listen back to that section repeatedly to see if any of your effects or changes are working correctly. Here's a way to do that without having to manually move your playhead back to the start position each time. First, Make your selection using in and out points on the timeline. I'm a fan of mark selection as I think it improves the workflow. I'm gonna select my clips and press forward slash on the keyboard. Then in program monitor, I'll press the loop button. If you don't have that button, you can add it with the button editor. Now you don't have to worry about resetting the playhead when you listen back to your adjustments. Premiere will loop the in and out points you set beforehand. Using the submix. Submixes are a great way to add effects to specific tracks in Premiere without affecting all of the tracks. In this example, I have sound effects on tracks two and three. I'm gonna right click on the audio track header here and click the option for add audio submix track. In the audio track mixer, click the track output assignment under each track you wanna send to the submix and click submix one from the drop down menu for tracks two and three. Now we can add effects to the submix and it's only gonna affect tracks that we've selected. Reduce noise. In this example, we have an audio clip that has audible noise in the background. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. Luckily, Premiere has a built-in feature that helps us remove that unwanted noise. First off, let's make sure we engage the loop button in the program window. On the timeline, mark the in and out points for the clip segments or selections you wanna work with. Head to the Essential Audio panel and click on the button that determines what kind of audio you're working with. In this case, it's dialogue. Click on the text that says repair to reveal a drop-down menu. Click the checkbox on repair, then click the checkbox for reduce noise. You'll notice a slider to make these adjustments and it works pretty easily. Simply move the slider to the right to adjust how much denoise processing you want on your track. Let's take a look and see how this works. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. You may have noticed that the track is now starting to sound a little bit thin as we move the slider higher. Remember, you wanna use enough denoising to get rid of the sound you don't want while maintaining the original sound of the audio. There are gonna be some cases where you have to lose a little bit of the original quality to get the noise reduction you're looking for. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. Reduce reverb. The next effect is reduce reverb. We can reduce the effect of reverb in Premiere by going back to the essential sound panel and choosing reduce reverb. Just as with the denoise filter, the same technique applies here. Here, we'll move the slider a little bit to the right to apply some de-reverb and see how it sounds. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. All right, let's try adjusting this a little bit more to see if we can get a slightly better result. And here's the before and after. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. Testing to hear my voice in an open space. If you need even more fine-tuned corrections, there are options inside the control panel where you can change how the plugin responds to certain frequencies. And there you have it. Since a lot of us are creating content at home right now, these tips may be useful to you when you're recording in less than ideal environments. What do you think? If you have any tips of your own, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. This is AB, and I'll see you next time.